What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Mr. Universal Sports, coming live from my undisclosed location in the Southern California. Hey, you know how we do it. Well, it's that time of year again. The NBA season started a couple of days ago, and I'm about to give my prediction on how my Los Angeles Lakers are going to do this upcoming season. Yes, folks, I am a Los Angeles Lakers fan. I've been a Lakers fan since 1995, since the days of Eddie Jones, Nick Van Antel, Eldon Campbell, Sadell Three, Pig Miller, you name it, Vlade Divac. I've been a Lakers fan since that long. Also, I'm a big Dodgers fan and a big San Francisco 49ers fan, besides me being a, a huge Bati fan. But enough about me. Let's get to my breakdown on how I think the Lakers are going to do this season, which starts in about... The season, the season opener for the Lakers starts about an, an hour or so. So, so I'm excited. I mean, this is the first time in five years that I can actually say that, you know, I hope the Lakers lose because I want the Lakers to get a top pick in the draft. You know how sick that is to hope that your team lose so that way we can get more ping pong balls and tank for that way we can get a higher draft pick. But with the signing of LeBron James... That ended all of that. And plus, we accumulated a lot of young talent over the years like Brandon Ingram, Kyle Kuzma, Josh Hart, and, and on and on, so on. I predict that the Lakers are going to finish with a record of 53-29. and 29. So, I mean, that's my prediction with the Lakers. I mean, they can win less games. They can win more games. But I do, I do know this, that usually when LeBron James comes to a team – the first 10 to 15 games is an adjustment period. So if the Lakers were to start off slow, I wouldn't be alarmed because it's just how it is when it comes to LeBron. But And I did a, a, a stat a few months ago that when LeBron, cha- when LeBron changes teams, he averages about, he adds 16 wins to that team's total. So we the Lakers won 35 games last year. So at least... That's at least at least that's at least fifty one games. So I have the Lakers at least winning fifty one games, but I predict that the Lakers will win fifty three. But enough about that. Let's get into the breakdowns. I'm gonna break down each position and see so we go and and just see how uh, this is my prediction how the guys are gonna do. Uh, the starting point guard for the season is Rajon Rondo. Now we know Lonzo Ball. Tore his meniscus at the end of the season. So it looks like for the start of the season, Rajon Rondo will get to start at point guard. And when the signing, when we first signed Rondo, I was like, what the heck? I mean, Rondo? <laughs> but, you know, I, actually watching the preseason and how the team unfolded, I kind of like this signing because Rondo can, will at least get you eight to nine assists a game and at least seven rebounds. When he, he, could, he can control a game without scoring. So. I kind of like the sign. I mean, I remember stretches when Lonzo Ball went out the game that we would have like Tyre Enos or Alex Caruso come in and the offense would kind of stagnate or fall apart. But we're, with with Rajon Rondo coming in, it looks like if Lonzo were to come out, the offense were, the offensive flow would remain the same. Now, let's, speaking of Lonzo Ball, let's get to Lonzo Ball. I know everybody, nobody really cares for LeVar Ball and his antics at times, but I like LeVar Ball personally, but we won't get into LeVar. We're here, we're here to talk about Lonzo. Lonzo Ball did have a good rookie season. He averaged 10 points, 7 rebounds, 7 assists. Those are like Jason Kidd numbers, and I really see a lot of Jason Kidd and Lonzo Ball. I know people laugh at me, especially last year when I said this and people thought I was nuts, but I do see a lot, a lot of similarities between Jason Kidd and Lonzo Ball. They're both big point guards. They both handle the ball. They are both are not the most athletic guy, but their basketball IQ makes up for any athletic deficiencies that they may have. And the fact that Lonzo did put on 10 to 15 pounds of muscle, he, he said he weighs about 205 to 210. I like the fact that he added the extra strength, especially to his legs, to help him get through the rigors of an NBA season. Now, as shooting guard, it looks like KCP will... Is, has returned and he will get to start at shooting guard again. And KCP kind of takes crazy shots at times, but I do like the fact that he is a good defender on the ball and that he he's a he's a pretty good guy on, on defense and he can shoot a little bit. He can shoot the three ball a little bit. Now 
who I wanted to see start was Josh Hart. I mean, I like this kid from when we made that draft pick last year from the jump. Due to the fact that he played, he, he could be a good 3 and D guy, which is excellent for today's modern NBA. And also, the fact that he can play multiple positions. We know Lonzo can play the multiple positions. We know Josh Hart can play multiple positions. We know Brandon Ingram can play multiple positions. We know LeBron James can play multiple positions. We know Kuzma can play multiple positions. So I like the fact that these guys, the Lakers signed a bunch of players. Along with Lance Stevenson, Stevenson can play multiple positions. These guys can switch out, play multiple positions on defense, bring bring up the ball. And I like the, the versatility that the Lakers have accumulated over the years and over this offseason. It's a smart approach. I mean, you're not going to outshoot Golden State. So you might as well out defense Golden State and out like <laughs> rough up Golden State. So I, I like the fact that the Lakers wasn't trying to be the Golden State Warriors. Speaking of shooting guards and Lance Stevenson, he's kind of that like that crazy kid <laughs> at school, but once you meet him, he's pretty cool. I like Lance Stevenson and the antics, <laughs> especially along with Rondo that they bring. <laughs> like We all remember Lance Stevenson blowing in LeBron's ear during that playoff game. Just little stuff like that, just little things like that, that to agitate the other team's best player is stuff that you need. So I like to sign out Lance Stevenson. Now, as we get to the small forward, we could, let's talk about LeBron James. I predict that LeBron James is going to average at least 25 points, 8 rebounds, and 8 assists a game. Now, we know that last season LeBron had his best statistical season ever, but I hope that the Lakers don't play him all 82 games and maybe play him 68 to 70 games, give him the proper rest. Also, LeBron did lead the NBA in minutes played, so I would like to see LeBron play at least 32 to 35. 33 minutes a game instead of 37, 38 minutes a game. So that way he will have extra, he will have some extra energy for the playoffs. Next on my list is Brandon Ingram. Now, personally, I think Brandon Ingram is going to make a huge jump this year. I think Brandon Ingram could potentially be an all-star. I mean, he I think he will put up all-star numbers. I think Ingram is going to average about 19 points a game, 5 rebounds, 3 assists, Maybe a block or two, and at least one and a half steals. I, I I see Brandon Ingram filling up a stat sheet, and I like the fact that Ingram can really play the one through the three. He he can bring up the ball. He can play point forward. He can play shooting guard. And I like the fact that I like I definitely like his versatility along with LeBron. We all know LeBron can really play all five positions, and he is the best in the world. And to be honest with you. Last year's playoff run made me truly respect LeBron James. He drew up that Cleveland team to the playoffs. So, uh, I mean, I hope that LeBron doesn't have to shoulder the load that much with the Lakers. But because uh, he has young assets, he has young help. I just hope that LeBron can at least get us to the playoffs, which I predict that he will. At the, forward, at the power forward spot, another versatile guy, the surprise of the draft, Kyle Kuzma. Kuzma averaged about 16 points, 8 rebounds last season. And we all we all know Kuzma can play the 3 and the 4. And I noticed something in the preseason. Kyle Kuzma, was there, the Lakers are trying to play Kyle Kuzma at the small ball 5. We all know the Golden State, Golden State death lineup. But I like the fact that the Lakers are experimenting in the preseason. And, you know, I predict Kuzma will take a slight step back this season because nobody... He can, he's not going to be able to sneak up on anybody this season, but I think he's going to put up similar numbers than he did last season. Now, on to the weakest position on the team is the center position. But I know we know JaVale McGee from Shaq and the Fool because Sh Shaq always makes fun of the poor guy, but we all know JaVale McGee is a good block, shot blocker, a good rebounder, and a good rim protector. And that's all we need at this point at the center position It's a good rebounder. And just we don't need him to score 25 points, get 20 rebounds a game. Just give us about five to ten points a game. Give us eight to nine rebounds a game and two blocks, and we'll be okay. Now I, I mean, we all know about his Avicii Zubox, but let's talk about Mo, Watt, Mo Wagner from the University of Michigan. He was drafted. He was our first round pick this past summer, and the fact that he is a stretch five. Now, I don't think Mo Wagner is going to play much this season just because there's so much depth on his team. But look out for him and Sfeed Mikhailik. I mean, 
I hope if I pronounce Svee's name wrong, I apologize, but I truly believe Svee was another steal in the draft because during the summer league, we saw Svee make the outside three. And he looked pretty good in the summer league. And that's speaking of shooting, everybody predicts that's going to be the weakness of the Lakers this season shooting. But I think we do have enough shooting on this team. And just remember, folks, in closing, we're, we may get off to a, a slow start, but let's not panic. Because it, t it takes a while to build chemistry and to incorporate all these new players, Coach Luke, Coach Luke Walton and the Lakers coaches that have their work cut out for them. So let's not panic like we always do. This team, we're, the Lakers are in a way better spot than they were five years ago. But anyway, well, tell me what you guys think about how the Lakers are going to do this season. It's your boy, Mr. Uniforms for Sports, signing out. Enjoy the rest of the NBA season. Holla at your boy.